Hello everyone and welcome to the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games powered by the Power 9 Podcast. My name is Mick, I'm one of your hosts alongside Chapman Sim. Hello everyone. Hey, what well, you have? First time here. Um, what brings you What brings you to our shores, man? <laughs> well, um, <sighs> just came back after a two months trip and uh, came back just in time to witness the WMCQ. So oh, okay. hanging around here for a week or so and I thought I'd drop by. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. How do you do in the WMCQ? It was the uh, modern, went seven two. Right? I conceded to Fabian. Um, oh. yeah. Unfortunately, he, he lost his win and in, so Damn so he didn't make it stop it. Yeah, but I was quite happy. It was a good day. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, we are here at the weekly standard tournament here at Grey Ogre Games. It's round one. Uh, no, these are not the players who are playing on the left. You see, uh, I believe that is Risaldo. You know, that's Ericsson, sorry. Ericsson on the left and uh, Risaldo on the right, yeah. Let me go and edit that. Risaldo. Uh, uh, not quite sure what they are running tonight, though. Uh, these two players tend to have very interesting decks, especially Risaldo. So oh, really? He's yeah. like a brewer? Yeah. Mm. Hey, no, no, sorry. Sheesh, I got them mixed up. No, it's Eric. Oh, it's fine. Right. Damn it. La. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Relax, relax. Everything's yeah. under control. Yeah. Let's change that. Okay, uh, so it seems like both of them are shuffling up again after yeah. it seems like um, both taking mulligans. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we always have this thing, or at least uh, Jeffrey has this thing when he comes in. He always tells me about the uh, curse. Oh, Jeffrey, huh? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, whenever you're on stream, like you always mana screw or. <laughs> well, but um, in this case, seems to be like, it's kind of fair. Both of them are doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So they have their life counter there. I. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I don't need to give them a life counter. Thank goodness. Uh, so yeah, this is every week we do this. Uh, I'm glad that you're here this week. It'll be interesting to get your perspective on on stuff. Yeah, this like is pretty week. interesting. This is actually my first game night that oh, I've okay. um, ever um, been present. Um, I will see the foil tokens and all the cool stuff, but I never get a chance to win them. So you guys have them in Hong Kong? No. Hong Kong? No. Sorry, uh, where I am? Uh, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you never go participate. No, I've never, I've never played in one. Um, ah. I assume I can always ask Mark for one. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so what's the what? One. So what's the what's the foil token of the man? Oh yeah. So this man is a uh, snip custom mage, which is uh, snip custom mage. Yeah, it's supposed to be snap custom mage. Okay. You can see the the thing, but uh, the token is just like a one 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 crap creature. I don't know. Is it's it is it, is it the one the the, the otter? Uh no last no. week last last month's one was auto spell which is basically ah. just counter spell, but uh, these tokens aren't as popular as uh, the ones like the uh, young buromancer oh yeah that was uh, really good and uh, the um, the mal driver because uh, <laughs> you can substitute these for like the the lama mancer one also well. you can substitute it for uh, for chandra tokens I see okay, I so see so Ericsson looks like he is running the blue uh, blue red Eldrazi. Uh, is that a mage string network? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a mage string network with a uh, wandering fumarole. Yeah. Uh, Risaldo looks like he's on green white tokens, possibly. Uh, uh, I well, he, he he has um evolving wilds, so that's not white green. Don't oh, think white green right, plays. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's either so ban humans so or, or or ban coco. My my guess. Okay, yeah, we'll find out that soon. That yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's ban. Probably ban humans. Okay, um, Ooh, we I were know. both wrong. <laughs> uh, the hermit. Wow, I forget what's his name. Oh. Something hermit. Some, of something no hermit. Uh, yeah, it's the one where uh, if your opponent casts uh, spells on your turn, you get to draw a card. So uh, so this card seems to be pretty good against the blue red player because like they have a lot of counter spells just yep. to um, stave off the early um, defenses. Mm. So. They actually play a lot of Clash of Wills, um, Void, S- Void Shatter, possibly. Yeah. So this might actually draw him a few cards. Uh, actually, quite a good card. I, you know, I, I think <laughs> it's a uh, might it's have a to do something on his main turn. Otherwise, transform into three five. Yeah, he's st- uh. he's got the spatial contortion in hand, so I think can deal with it quite. Uh, I think he's likely gonna use it. Yeah. Yep. 
Otherwise, he Bang. won't be able to do anything else in the. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. So, well, Risaldo can take the opportunity here to probably cast a collector company if he has it. Uh, does he have the land, and does he even have that card? Uh, if he does, he should just cast it main phase. Uh, nothing Ericsson can do about it. But no, here comes a tireless striker and just passes the turn. Not no lands. He yeah, lands. no land, no. No lands, and he's got cards, which is well. All right, so four mana. What could this be? Thought not here. Look, no, he drew up. Okay. Yep. And Raikai is going to see, going to use... Right, to that was a very powerful turn for him. Yeah. He not only managed to accelerate his mana, but he <laughs> also managed to kill something on the opposite side. Uh, so yeah, next turn he's going to go up to 7 mana. He's taking 1 damage. I'm um, okay. going to cast something blue. Nope. Okay. Yep, so that's oh Jace. Jace. Okay. okay. Well, um, to be honest, I think everything is looking really bad for him. Yeah, you know, uh, like Erickson, well, Erickson's in control here he's got uh you know he's not missing any of his land drops he is oh okay so another head draw <laughs> okay and just passes the turn okay sure why not just pass the turn uh probably going to be able to counter anything that uh, uh that risaldo puts out well so perhaps what is more relevant is that this second um hidden archive brings him up to 10 mana on the next turn okay and does he have Ulamong in his hand yeah okay. let's see <laughs> Ooh. uh so Saldo here just gonna pass the turn. Uh Kay. and yeah, Ericsson gonna charge up that mage ring network along with what is that? Is that random chains? Um I think that's an anticipate. Oh, I think okay, it's a okay. uh, Friday night magic uh, uh promo okay. foil. Uh. Yeah, a little hard to see. Uh, the, the the shades of the lights fell off. Oh, the other um, day no worry. Um, anticipate lets him look at the top three cards, put yeah. one in his hand and the other two at the bottom. So. Oh yeah, that's the one where the guy claps his hand. Yeah. And stops his sword. Uh, in actual fact, the the sword will just slice through your palm and uh, <laughs> you know, just like flavor do fail. You, no, do you do you watch the uh, MythBusters episode where that happened? No, funny thing is I don't actually watch TV. Oh, you don't watch TV. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have time for that. <laughs> Okay, he's turning all his mana sideways and no surprises what's going to come. Ta -ta -da. Yep. Uh, Ulamok, um, the blue-red Ulamog deck is actually um, pretty consistent. It even runs uh, two or three copies of uh, Ulamog, so it's not so s unsurprising to see it right on turn. Yeah. Um, so... Risaldo going to respond with... Risaldo, uh, yeah. Um, I don't think whatever he hits, um, it's going to be still really bad. Yeah, like, you don't yeah, want to send it back with Reflector Mage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, is, well, it's already getting rid of his... Like, as far as I know, um, he doesn't really have a way to win unless he chains, like, four brown Bounding Crassus back-to-back. Just, yeah, just to tap it down and quickly attacking. Okay, that might oh, work. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that, that might works work. Too. Uh... It's a Tyler's Tracker and uh, Eldrazi Displacer, yeah. yeah. So he's going to draw and discard, flipping his oh, base, but, um, so it saves him from the... It Ulamog. might work, but also don't forget that um, Ulamog's going to exile two of uh, Risaldo's lands, which puts him back at two lands. And even with a third land, he's forced to tap three mana every single turn. Yeah, so he needs yeah. to look for that one... More land. Uh, no, no, he uh, pointed out the Jace and the... Um, and the plane, so he's got three lands, right? Uh, so he can consistently keep doing it, but you know. Why? Why? Why did he choose to um, exile, exile the, the Jace? Uh, no, why did he choose to exile the Jace? Because the Jace could just transform. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, he should have just knocked down two lands, you know, and. F well, and we, I guess you're trying to call the bluff. Uh, if your opponent doesn't have anything to respond to your spell, then the Jace definitely won't flip. No, nah, I think I think um, having the Jace on the board is not really that. Uh, valuable compared to killing one of the lands mm -hmm. yeah <coughs> especially the colorless land uh you know the uh, bun company bun company just revolves around a uh what's that the reflector mage with uh and um yeah. considering that um he missed his uh, fourth land drop um i would definitely have destroyed both lands uh, exact right, yeah. both lands yeah and if he had taken down um the in my coast, coast yeah. he wouldn't be able to blink. So that was a terrible mistake in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
because you need colorless mana to activate Eldrazi Displacer, and yeah, I, exactly. I think uh, Ericsson forgot about that, and he killed the planes instead of the Yamivaya yeah. Coast. <laughs> yeah, even even you know just taking out the uh, land and the Jace, right? You should target the yeah. You should yeah, still target the Yamivaya uh, Coast. Yamivaya Coast. Mm. Uh, uh, well, okay, yeah, he's uh, he's well paying for for that mistake. Uh, probably gonna take six this turn. He's gonna take six, and uh, if no, 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 no. he's got a uh, wandering fumeral. Okay, so Ericsson's got wandering oh, right. fumeral on his side, so he can't really attack either. Yeah, so if he does attack, uh, you know, it's it's not gonna be worth it. So just pass the turn and just wait. I think you are allowed to be patient against the blue red or the it's it's practically a mono blue Eldrazi deck. So yeah, uh, yeah, just pass the turn, man. Relax. Do you think Ericsson's gonna crack his uh, hidden archive? Uh. Possibly he doesn't need the mana anymore. I you know and extra cards like Ericsson also got like one card in hand. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, cracking at least one hedron archive just to draw additional. Seems cards. to make sense, yeah. Yeah, he needs to get rid of. Right now he needs to get rid of that uh, Eldrazi displacer. So you know cracking a card, uh, probably be able to look at another spatial distortion. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, spatial contortion. Distortion, contortion, right? Yeah. Yeah, Reg Reganor Ulamog. <laughs> yeah, it has hit the battlefield. Uh, but Ulamog being controlled here by a Eldrazi Displacer and three open mana. <laughs> mm. Not the best situation. Okay, so he, he chooses to attack in with the uh, with the Tyler's tracker. Any clues what he's representing? Um, no, no idea. Okay, I don't it's think uh, it, it's pretty obvious here that he has Dromoka's command. Uh yeah, but I mean like you wouldn't want to, you know, you want to you wouldn't want to use up your mana, uh, and <laughs> possibly take ten damage and like exile twenty cards from your library next turn. Yeah. So uh, why did Ericsson not? A bit so why did Ericsson not block? Ah, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why you don't? Okay, do no it? worries. He's he probably he's, he's probably in control anyway. To He's tying up so much of uh, Risaldo's mana. Jeez, he's got another Ulamog in here. Oh, really? Great. Okay, that would take down the Wastes and the uh, Yamimaya uh, Coast. Yeah, Yamimaya Coast, right. I think um, Ericsson probably going to declare an attack. Yeah. Jeez, this is fun. Yep, <laughs> and we see the uh, Ulamog being blink blinked the, out. Yep. So, yeah, Ulamog, for what it's worth, comes back as a 10-10. Um, comes back as a 10-10. Because it's a new object. Does but it anyway? <laughs> does it even matter? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. But I mean, uh, also he so did. He does not have the second Ulamog. Oh, does he have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Oh, I thought he drew Ulamog. Okay, mm -hmm. so my mistake. Uh, he's gonna swing in again with the. Um, tireless Tracker. Yeah, but now there's now also a bunch of clues sitting over there, so the Tireless Tracker can outgrow the Flumarol. Yeah. So now is not a good time to uh, block. Actually, no, it's still a good time to block. Okay. Ah, okay. So he chooses not to. Uh, Ericsson here going to take four damage. Uh. <coughs> Why? Unless there's a special contortion in hand and he's waiting for the... Uh, he's waiting for Risaldo to pump up the uh, Tireless Tracker. But if that's the case, you probably try to get rid of the Displacer instead. Okay, so he just charges up and passes the turn. Hmm. Does he not have things in hand? Well, the thing about this situation is that um, Risaldo can actually afford to take one or two hits because it's not lethal. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if if he does need the mana for like a turn or two, he can actually choose to take one hit from the um, Ulamog. Yeah, Ulamog. Yeah. Um, alternatively, uh, Risaldo could also try to pressure Ericsson's life total such that it's low enough, mm -hmm. so that um, even without tapping the Ulamog down, the Ulamog cannot attack. That's also right. that's also okay, a possible yeah. line of play. So, so I think that's what's yeah. going to be happening. So here, yeah. if 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 uh, Risaldo manages to go in for another five damage or something, it would bring down Ericsson to eight, and he might not be able to have the life total to counterattack. 
In fact, he might actually, you know, he might actually die if he doesn't have any answer for the uh, displacer. It's, it's unlikely. I mean, he he does have two hidden archives that he didn't crack. That's true. So that so means he has some form of gas on his hand. Yeah, like he's Bob, still got two wandering fumaroles on board. Yeah. So he likely has some um something up his sleeve. We just don't know what it is yet. Um, I mean. Put yourself in his shoes. If if you had no cards in your hand and nothing relevant, you would have cracked the archive by now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's got, I think, a spell shrivel in hand. <laughs> just well. But. Well, if it's all, if uh, it's if it's only counter spells, he might want to draw want some to, cards. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see what's happening next. So, Risado looks like he's recovering pretty okay because yeah. he has like so many cards. And so many clues. And he's got his lands sorted out. Like six mana is more than enough for. You the know what's the most company. dangerous thing that could happen for Ericsson right now? A second Eldrazi displacer. Why? Because they will protect oh, yeah, each other. Then, yeah. yeah. Once once he gets to nine, once Risaldo gets to nine mana, he can actually use the uh, displacer to protect each other. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Ericsson. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then yeah, there's no stopping. I think the blue red Ulamog that plays Chandra, right? Uh. Think so. Yeah, so maybe maybe so. one or two copies of Chandra because I think turn four um archive into Chandra is pretty good. Oh, so yeah. he needs to be careful of that as well. Okay, so, so let's see Ericsson going down to seven, six to eight. Is that eight? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh hi Jeffrey. <laughs> uh yeah. Jeffrey says hi. Oh my god. Is oh, who is? Oh, uh, is true for that, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Chan. Wait, why? Why is Jeffrey not here today? I don't know, Jeffrey. Why are you not here today? Playing Overwatch, right? Too much Overwatch. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, there was a girl looking for you today, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay, okay so, so Kozilex return. What does it do? <laughs> Lazy. Good job. Yeah, I should go in. Oh. Well, this probably means that Ericsson has a second Kozilex return. Yep. And. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Alternatively, he simply has another Eldrazi in his hand, which he just wants to unload the Kozilex return. So uh, you can the only Eldrazi that can trigger Kozilek Which is Twitter another is, Ulamog. Yeah, well, another Ulamog. <laughs> or I don't think the deck runs a Kozilek, although I have seen uh, versions. No, of no, no. Kozilek is just uh, not very good. Is that a spatial contortion? Okay, so he types it down. Oh, man. This is... Okay. He's tough. What's going on? Hmm. Uh, yeah, did he, he just use Did he just use Kozilek's return to kill a one two Thraban Inspector? It's, it's I mean, looks, if it looks like that if might <laughs> just happen, um, if he has Ulamog in his hand, he should be casting it right now. Like uh, he, he get rid of the displacer and and everything else. Yeah. Okay, he's counting his mana. Maybe he's doing it after all. Four. So that's five, six, seven. So yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so okay. that's ten mana. All good. Yeah. All good. Po, 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 po. Is it time? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Fine. so okay. Ulamong number two is going to flash back that Kozilek's return. Uh, he actually had enough mana to cast it this turn and then flash it back. Uh, so he's going to get rid of the Jace and no, get rid of the colorless sauce. No, the colorless sauce is going to do you in, man. I think. Well, there's a way I, 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 so. I, I think um, at this point, uh, Ericsson is overvaluing the value of uh, Jace uh, um, because Jace really doesn't cause any problems at all. Yeah, like if, he could if have just swung in and killed the If Risaldo right? wanted to flash back the collector's company, he would have done it, like, found some time to do it, but it's mm. not a problem. Um, and he could have, uh, no, he didn't have enough mana to activate one of his wandering fumaroles to just, like, tick at the, you know, knock the Jace down back to, what, four counters? Well, Jace really doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah well... I mean, uh, yeah. he he probably has a counter spell in his hand. If he gets uh, Risaldo's land count low enough, it makes his, his Clash of Wills and yeah. Spell Shrivels more effective. Yep. Yeah. So uh, let's see what Risaldo has to answer. That I, well, there should be a Reflector Mage. I see a Reflector Mage in hand. A <laughs> useless uh, Reflector Mage. 
Ah, uh, yeah, it's not going to be. It's you really don't want to bounce Ulamog, okay? Yeah, not at this Stand, point. Standard this 101. Point. Don't, don't use Reflector don't. Mage on Ulamog. Well, if you can go for the kill, yes. But I mean, no. <laughs> Generally, no. Uh, but another Eldrazi Displacer. Okay, okay so ready for counter spell? Yes. Uh, spell Shriver going to hit the Displacer, exiling it. You see, and that uh, play was really, really dangerous because Risaldo could have had a land, drop the land. Oh, wait, Ris and Spell Shriver counters for four, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. so it's still good. So he, he, did, he did his math. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he could have just taken out two lands and just let Jace ultimate. He wouldn't have any problems with the Jace. Uh, right now... The ooh, both of them going uh -huh. to be animated. Uh, that is he needs probably a good line of play. Yeah, just one more yep. point of damage. Come on, no, it's fine. It. Uh, it's going to take one from animating it. So you, if you notice that um, we've been talking about the Hedron Archive for a long time, mm -hmm. and um, Ericsson has been really disciplined uh, in a sense that he has not um, been willing to sacrifice it for card, uh, drawing cards. Yeah. Probably waiting for this moment um, to swing with both creatures, but apparently he didn't do it. Well, uh, yeah, it's not enough to kill. I mean, no, I even if it's not enough, I think it's still better to put your opponent at one so that your opponent has to deal with three creatures on the next turn. Mm. Um, and That's actually true. four, because um, Ulamog has his menace. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Ulamog, no, no, Ulamog doesn't have menace. Cozy Which is the one? Menace. Cozy Lack has menace. Yeah. Okay, so, Ulamog so just three creatures. Just. So <laughs> yeah, so if, if he had like swung with all three creatures, he would put his opponent at one, uh, and Risaldo would have to yeah. put up three chum blockers every Which, turn. Yeah. Yeah. Which is going to be difficult. I mean, like, you can swing in with the Wandering Fumeral and, you know, just not even transform it. Um, but here he decides just to put his opponent down to five. And, uh, yeah, Risaldo needs to find an answer probably in the form of a, a collected company and another creature so they can block. You see, uh, by attacking this way, um, Ericsson's uh, may not be um, Ericsson's board may not be lethal next turn. Yeah, because Risaldo true. can always hit a uh, bounding crisis and reflector mage on mm. the wandering for Wow. Yeah. Um, which so I would not have done that. Yeah, and with okay. two mana open, you are unlikely to see any flash creatures entering the battlefield. So mm. you really didn't need to keep back the for Yeah, he's only got one card left in hand. Uh. Probably left the mana open so that you can draw more cards of the uh, Hedra Archive. But yeah, I um, agree with you. I don't think like right now is the time to... Okay, so he's doing it because he has yeah. no choice anymore. Yep. yep. Uh, push the Ulamog back to hand. That's, That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Considering uh, about the Hedra Archive again. <laughs> okay, so I think you just crack the Hedra Archive just to take a look. Uh, will you have enough mana? One, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, it's not enough. No, you it's fine because life. because he has one more turn to wait because he's a reflector mage. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, he has yeah. to he can just Oh no, he's got ten. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, he has the Fumaro and he can charge up both Mage Ring networks over the next yeah. two turns, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so he lets it go. Uh recruiter. Here, yeah. Maybe a recruiter. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's a recruiter. I noticed that um, Risaldo always takes uh, damage before um, if he's tapping his Painland for mana before presenting the card. So the fact that oh, he okay. so the fact that he didn't take any damage means this that he like, was casting okay, a recruiter so a or a silver advocate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get rid of the recruiter and uh, charge up his mage ring network. Uh, at this point, what? you see, he's putting a spawner at five is so bad. Yeah, damn it. He yeah, done it. He done but it it's fine. Time. He 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 got the game anyway. Um, he yeah. just. Ericsson is just too far ahead. Mm. Uh, so we're going to animate. We're going to animate both? Okay. Uh, yeah, he can cast the Ulamog. Two, three, four, five, six, uh, in my opinion, that is... Um, I wouldn't say it's dangerous, but... Oh, he even took one damage for that. Yeah. Mm. So Ibana is going to animate both. going to put his... Now, finally put his opponent down to one... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, does he choose to get rid of the Reflector Mage though? Okay, so... Okay, no. Uh, just gonna put his opponent down to one and just pass the turn. Oh, okay, no, he does get rid of the Reflector Mage. Okay, interesting. How, how did that happen? Uh, he just, he transformed both of them to... Sorry, he switched the uh, power and toughness for so both of them. So how did... 
Uh, so one went through and then one got blocked by the uh, reflector mage. Right. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay, okay. So it became a 4-1 and then the right, trigger right, off. Right. Uh, which I think is the safer play because since you're going to be casting um, Kozilek, uh, sorry, uh, Ulamog next turn, uh, you know, mm. you are whittling down away, away your opponent's um, Oh, answers. The problem with this play is that actually, actually, I'm pretty sure that Ericsson is going to win, but you know, let's, let's talk it out and... Let's see how he can lose. How about that? No, um, the there's actually uh, a better line of play. When you attack with the both um, Fumaros, you can just not trade with the Reflector Mage mm. because there's no card in Ban Company that can kill an opponent at 7. So when he oh, casts the Ulamon next turn, he would be killing uh, um, the Reflector Mage while keeping both Fumaros on the board. Yeah. Yep. So uh, just a note for Ban Coco and you know Blue Red control players <laughs> in uh. case this ever happens to you next time. <laughs> Why did this happen? I mean, this is not just talking about the game, right? We, 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 we would like to help everyone to improve, right? Yep. Yeah. So you can come come to Grey Roller Games and win some tokens, you know, <laughs> and not get um, smashed up by Jeffrey, for example. It is. Uh, well, not for the time being. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Only, only from September onwards. Right? I'm sorry. Uh, soft points, soft points. Okay, uh, how about Chin Heng? Chin Heng, Chin Heng. Chin Heng's uh, one of the better players in the room. Yeah, man. Chin Heng is... Chining consistently gets onto the feature match area for one of the players who oh, who always reaches the. He's always in the top five uh, of the of the rankings, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, this is probably going to be met with a yeah collector company. Let's see what. I, I uh, don't know why he did that. He could just cast Ulamog. Uh, hmm. What of collector company could you deal? No, not enough damage. I don't think. Uh, um. Well, you could hit a three three. You could hit two three threes. Uh, no, the worst thing that could happen right now is um, probably the reflector mage. Reflector mage and this right now the worst thing that can happen is yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. But that's five damage. Does he have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he's still only got seven mana. Okay, so this has this has gone a very weird turn. Yeah. <laughs> this has <laughs> uh so Reflector Mage uh, the only thing that could hit the battlefield. Uh no no no. I think that just means that he's decided on Reflector Mage for sure. He's deciding on the second one. Oh mana. okay, so there's another card. You think so? Okay, so he's choosing one more. No, no, no. He only has one. That's, oh his, ha yeah, that's, okay. his, that's his hand. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> I thought that was the six cards. Yeah. I didn't see him like, put, put some cards in the bottom of the library. Yeah, he does have a lot of cards. He has, uh, he has been sacrificing clues along the way. Mm. Uh, Ericsson here doesn't have... I would have expected that he had a counter spell for that uh, collector company, but no. Okay. So... Uh, did he play a land already? Yes, I think he did. And that's a Jace? Yes, head? that's a Jace. Ooh. Ah, but why didn't he cast the Ulamog? Why? I have why no idea. That? Why you don't do that? Uh, anyway. Uh, so here, we're probably going to see the Jace, probably going to bounce that Reflector Mage and just wait. Uh, and when he cast the... Ulamog can probably get rid of the colorless sauce and probably the white sauce as well. Yeah, Jace gonna hit the battlefield. Wow! How many times have you seen that being played? Uh, just a couple of times. It's, it's not, not. It's not that not common, often, right? Yeah. Uh, to be fair, we shouldn't even be seeing this Jace because he should be casting Ulamog on his turn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway. Is he drawing cards or bouncing? Uh I don't know. Would you draw cards or bounce? I would, I would bounce. I would right? bounce for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay so he's he drawing cards. Draw. Yeah. <laughs> Shows what we know, right? Uh <laughs> well but it, th yeah. but he probably knows that there's no way that he can die. Yeah. Yeah. Uh he's at six life, you know, even at like a Dromokas command. Uh, you know what I was worried for the previous turn was that he hit like three, two, three power and then double double command, and right? Then, yeah, no, but if that like but if that command. had happened, uh, he can always not cast the Jace and keep back the second for Maro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Well, let's see. Uh. 
Uh, uh, really not sure what Risaldo has in hand though. Uh, he's gotta have something. I have a feeling it's you know some Dromukas commands. Uh, Tanas Lieutenant gonna mm. power up that. Oh, okay, yeah, could have been. Yeah, could this have been. This is an interesting TV, build because uh, usually the versions with um, Eldrazi Displacer don't play um, Tanas Lieutenant. Lieutenant yeah. yeah, not enough humans. Yeah, yeah, no, but but, but yeah. then again, he was playing Thriban Inspector, so we could we could see this coming. Ooh, yeah, but ooh, but still but but that. still that's not enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, the only thing that would have wrecked him was like a... Uh, he needed to hit two creatures and follow up with double yeah, uh, exactly. lieutenant. But that still won't be enough. Because of the uh, Fumaro. Yeah, and he's just going to cast the... He's going to cast the Ulamog right here and then wipe out the entire board with yep. the Kozak's return. Yep. If he remembers the Kozak's return trigger, uh, that he's has really done. He's already done it once. He should remember, well, right? It, it happens. It happens. Well, we've seen we've seen interesting things happen this game clearly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, weirder things have happened for sure. Oh man, our clock is a bit different. It says there nineteen twenty minutes on the four players left. Uh, I think I jumped the gun. Started my clock a bit early. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so are we gonna see Ulamok? Come on, come on, babe. Okay, so shrine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In four lands you have eight mana. Or in four four permanents you have eight mana. Uh Okay. I wouldn't empty the mage ring network, yeah. but uh, that's me. Mm hmm Okay, so he does remember it's gonna flash back the Kozak's return. Gonna wipe out the entire board. Burn and uh, gonna exile two of the white lands. Yeah. Okay, so nothing much that Risaldo can do at this point. Uh, his board has been decimated twice. His lands have been eaten up twice. Now, uh, so I'm just really, really surprised that he's still in the game yeah, because of I'm some like decisions that Ericsson has made. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, he's casting <laughs> Ulama for the third time and he's not winning, <laughs> so he must be doing something. Was not, it the third not, time? Yeah, he, this is his. Remember? Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. The second so the time he sacrificed the first one, and then this was the third time oh. because he got bounced. So some th he's clearly doing something wrong. I mean, yes. how do you cast Ulamog three times and not win the game? Your opponent's at one. Come on, man. You can beat him. You can beat him. Uh, yeah, Rizaldo there counting cards. Okay. Seeing whether he's got 20 cards left in the library, but no, he doesn't. He doesn't even have one life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was interesting. Okay, so players are going to go to the sideboard. Uh, while they are sideboarding, I would like to remind you that... Uh, yeah, you're watching the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. Uh, my name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside Chapman Sim. Hello. And uh, yeah, this isn't the only show that we do. Remember, you can catch us. If you like what you hear or see, uh, some people just turn, turn on the Twitch and just like use it as a radio, uh, which is kind of strange because we don't usually give play-by-play play-by-play stuff but anyway yeah, you can join us for our other shows Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday night Tuesday night is the standard SCG game night Wednesday is more than modern which as the name suggests it's our modern tournament modern modern yeah modern modern mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> see only you get that mm -hmm. nobody else gets that I don't <laughs> understand uh, and Thursday is our throwback Thursdays which is our vintage playtest night uh, and sometimes on the weekends also we have other shows as well uh, we do stream uh, but this weekend's a bit. This weekend will be different because this weekend is pre-release. Are you going to be here for pre-release? Uh, I will be in Singapore for the pre-release, but I'm not sure where I'll be playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to start practicing for GP Sydney. GP Sydney. Yeah. Oh, GP Sydney is going to be sealed, right? It's going to be sealed deck. And, uh, like and Grey Ogre Games is holding a sealed deck uh, in the morning on Saturday, if I'm not wrong. Yep. And they also have a two-headed giant later. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, but you uh, need to get practice on like yeah, one unfortunately, man. Unfortunately, I don't want to play two-headed giant because uh. it's not a format I'm gonna see in Sydney. <laughs> so uh, I might touch come. Wood. Touch wood is 
it's not going to be a format you see because Twitter Giant is usually one of those like side event type of thing. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> so yeah, I want to stay away from. So the yeah, side uh, I might I might come in 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 the afternoon to play mm. the the regular silk deck and then mm-hmm. I might go elsewhere to, to or, or I might just stay around for a booster draft. Oh okay yeah 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 I'll be I'm I'm pretty excited to draft this set because uh, it seems pretty interesting bombs kind of come in the uh, the form of uncommons which is uh, something I liked about BFZ booster draft mm-hmm. that you could have you know you could just pick out bombs in your uncommons instead of your rares right hey Mark join so, us so um so I you think I think that uh, this match could possibly end up in a draw because uh, after the sideboard I think the Bun Humans player Risaldo has the advantage uh, um, yeah. typically they have invasive surgery dispels negate in the sideboard and mm-hmm. um, he's got early pressure in the form of a, a bunch of humans and if he uh, Risaldo manages to land an early uh, Thalia's lieutenant it might be out of range for Ericsson's um, uh, Kozak's Kozak return. return, right? Yeah, yes. I don't think he'll be in time to be able yes. to like flash back. That so in in game one, um, Ericsson pretty much had free reign to do whatever he liked mm. because he had no disruption from Risaldo. Yeah, but I things mean. gonna be a little different run right now. Yeah, uh, a- and also Risaldo has a lot of bad cards against Ericsson, such as Dromoka's command, which and does nearly nothing, and, uh, and that's not in the mage. Yeah, and reflector mage. So uh, those cards are not in the main deck anymore. So, yeah, this might be an interesting um, counter-attack. Have you been following the spoilers? The uh, spoilers for um, Eldritch Moon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Spell Queller. Spell Queller. Spell Queller fits exactly in the Bun company. Um, deck, yeah. Actually, I think there might be a Bun Spirits deck. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. like, when your opponent casts Bun uh, Collector Company, you cast uh, your own company, and then you hit Spell, uh, spell Queller. <laughs> Ooh yeah. man, it's gonna be so okay, fun. Okay, so forty-five village. That's not a land that I usually see. Yeah. Forty-five village. Uh, plus four five is Swedish. Yeah, Swedish village. Okay, so these so things are not looking good because uh, Risado's supposed to be the aggro deck, and he yeah, has and no. He doesn't have anything. He has no creatures, and neither does he have any blue mana. Ah, uh, okay. So let's see. Okay, there right, it is. So he has the blue mana. Carlos Tracker, which probably gonna get countered or killed. Uh, yeah, he just lets it go, but uh, Spatial Contortion is going to see the end of that. Uh, yeah, Ericsson not missing his land drops. He's got another three lands in hand. Uh, but does he have any answers? That's a Looks like he does. Spell Shrivels. Oh, okay. So, Rizaldo here going to... Okay. Alright, so uh, Displacer is going to hit the board, but it's going to be ended by a Spatial Contortion. Um, oh, I, think he should have, I think he should have went with the Displacer first, because if he um, had cast the Tyler Striker on turn 4... He could have just lay a land and yes. get an extra clue. Well, Correct. he might have just drew it. Oh, but he... No, he has two Adrazi Displacers, so he didn't just draw it. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> and in a sense that even if he does get... Um, if the Tyler Striker does get countered, you are at least baiting out a counter spell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Thought Not Seer is like a great sideboard card against uh, um, Collector Company in general because it's a 4 4 body that blocks everything mm-hmm. in the deck. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you're Risaldo, you probably sideboard out those Dromoka's commands. So, you know, there's um, a lot less ways for you yeah. to deal with the. Uh, it's actually not that easy for Dromoka's command to kill Thought Not Seer, but oh, oh look but what uh, he tr- Declaration in Stone definitely can okay. get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, so you can get Declaration is also well. a very good uh, solution to Ulamog. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't think about that for sideboarding. Okay, so uh the displacer, the other displacer in hand hits the battlefield. Uh what does Ericsson have to reply? I'm to actually very that? curious to find out how many uh, displacers Risado has uh, in his um post boarded games because it's actually mm. not very good against Ericsson. I mean his opponent has no creatures. Um, so what do you want to displace her for? Yeah, exactly. And sometimes, and you know... Uh, the, the only real combo is Thalas Lieutenant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in this matchup, you are very unlikely to go wide enough for the Lieutenant to matter. Yeah, you you probably get like counted out. And right now, he's pass- passing the turn probably... Uh, um, anticipate? Yeah. Right. Uh, Maybe there's just too many bad cards in the deck against... Um, the blue red deck. Mm, he has to keep some. I mean, he has you, to keep some threats. Yeah. yeah. There's not everything. You know, not everything. Your sideboard is going to be relevant either. Eh. He's going for the wastes. 
more colorless, well, more colorless sources will probably prevent you know Ericsson from you know putting up any defenses. Uh, but let's see. He's got five mana open, representing the uh, uh, what's the name? Archangel uh, Everson that he had in hand, which Ericsson saw, yeah. Yep. So he's got to be expecting that. Uh, uh, the problem with um, Archangel Everson is that it's really good in creature-based uh, matchups, mm -hmm. but in this one, you're gonna let your opponent untap and counter the Everson. Yeah, I know. I I yeah. would have cast it the previous turn, but he he might have had the spell shrivel anyway, so. Uh, it was still it would still be dangerous. oh of course of course it would still get countered anyway my point is um ever since not really good like anyway right in, like in, in this matchup in yeah. this matchup yeah uh no he just chooses to untap and just probably swing in with that three three so Ericsson is getting really really close to ten mana he has two uh shrine of the uh shrine of the forsaken gods so he's at like a virtual eight mana now if he manages okay. to get two more lands uh yeah if he's got a uh, if he's got another shrine, like good on him. And, yeah. You know, top deck. Top is, deck is like another king, man. Is another shrine. Uh, make does it does it make it ten? Yeah, yeah. Oh ten. dear! Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Top deck like a king, man. <laughs> uh, but no, he just passes on the turn, and uh. Okay. Okay. Rizardo gonna play the that hermit guy. I forget what's his name. Hermit of Lone Druid, right? Well, I can probably find that out. It's yeah. not something that we see very often. Uh, Think so, yeah. Nathanals. All oh, right. Yeah. Hermit of the Nathanals. Whenever opponent casts a spell during your turn, draw a card. Uh, actually, a pretty. Oh, it got countered by. Oh, look at that sweet card. Did you see what just happened? It what? got countered by it's confirmed, confirmed suspicions. suspicions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is oh. actually pretty cool. <laughs> that I, I have never seen that happen. <laughs> that um, was what. Five mana counter spell. Do you think he's playing it main deck? No. no I, well, no. If he's not playing it main deck, and why is he keeping in the post bottle games, when <laughs> when ban company has like negates dispels? Wow. I have no man. idea. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's working out for him, man. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Able to catch Risaldo off off his guard. There. Yeah. Wow. Investigate three. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Ericsson here rapidly losing life, or at least no, it doesn't. I, I, losing life. Yeah, but, but that's that's like fine. That's controller. fine. Yeah. All he needs to do is just find that Ulamog. Uh, no, he's got two dis. Uh, what's that? Uh, Drowner of Hopes. So I think he can just. He's not in danger hope. anytime soon. Yeah. This is just how control works. You know, you you use your life as a, as resource. a resource. Yeah. Right. yeah. So it doesn't matter and. Risaldo's deck, uh, Ban Humans, doesn't have any reach, you know? There's no direct damage, there's no burn spell, yeah. there's no loose life cards, so uh, he he gets, he's, he's yeah, pretty safe. Once he gets going, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, just passes the turn, he's still so got like two Drowner of Hopes, but he's got uh, ample counter spells in hand. The spell shrivels maybe not so effective right now. Uh, um, you want to guess why he didn't drop the Drowner? Uh... Oh, Ban uh, Coco. And uh, he can just keep... I think it's because well, Risaldo yeah. has the Avacyn. Yeah. And uh, he's trying to keep up mana just yeah. to prevent the Avacyn from hitting the board, yeah. Uh, you can always use then? the tokens to tap down the Avacyn, but uh, Eldrazi Displacer also blinks out the tokens. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it yeah. may not be, like, super value. Like, it's not the worst play, but it may not. it's not very uh, value. Yeah. yeah. So you can just spend, like, that... Oh, no, he needs blue, right. Yeah, he's probably casting it now because he has enough mana for a counter spell. Uh, he's still got Clash of Wills in hand yep. as well as... Uh, okay, Drowner drops. Okay, so are we going to see a reply from Risaldo? Nah, he doesn't have any counter spells, except for Ojutai's command. Uh, which, yeah, got stripped out of his, yeah. of his hand earlier. I believe the deck only like runs two, two? maximum. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this was a uh, this was a weird uh, time to. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's gonna spell shrivel that and. Okay, so he's gonna get exiled. Oh man. 
Okay, so mm-hmm. back to square one. We've only got the displacer, but uh, Ericsson able to advance his board slightly. Uh, so Rizaldo not drawing any of his collector companies at all. He has not been putting up pressure at yeah. all since the early turns, and uh, once Ericsson manages to get to like five or eight mana, he seems to be totally in control. Oh, okay. So he has another ever seen. Yeah, it probably what? doesn't. It probably doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay, right, he's gonna do second. another spell shrivel. Oh what? wow, that's awesome! Yeah. So he had it all count cal- cal- uh, calculated out. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And the funny thing is that Risalo doesn't have any solutions to drown out hope. True. He can't yeah, bounce yeah, it. Yeah. He can't blink it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bouncing bouncing a drown out hope. Yeah. Is a bad idea. Worse yes. idea than bouncing. A so he's probably gonna just get killed by the five five, yeah. um, assuming he can brace. He also really needs to be careful about the displacer. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, man, but he's gonna. But he's gonna, yeah, he's yeah. another one. So yeah, he's going, he's going for it. Sure. Man, this is painful to watch. Okay, so it's yeah, another headrun archive. Another. If you let the control player survive till um such a late part of the game, it's probably over. Yeah. You need to go yeah. turn one inspector, turn two lieutenant, you know, turn three yeah. something, and just keep I up the it's pressure. It's a bad hand to keep. I f- I felt uh, like it wasn't. Uh, didn't have yeah, maybe he should have mulliganed. Maybe he should have mulliganed. Mm. Uh, so another four mana going to be another? <laughs> yeah, draw archive, yeah, sure. Why not when you've got the mana, right? And then the other draw of hope. One, two, three, four, five. And still keeping the island up because just in case you never know, he might need to sacrifice or right, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice his Eldrazi <laughs> tokens for, for a counter spell. Oh goodness. Yeah, but I think this is uh, this is about it, you know, because mm. as I said, Risaldo doesn't have any solutions to to drown off hope. Yeah, and in response to any form of blinking you can just like tap down the uh what you call it, the um He's also oh, land flooded, if you realize. Yeah, uh, he's, he's <laughs> not Ericsson, drawing well. Yeah, Ericsson has only seven lands, and he has eight lands. Oh, he has nine lands. Yeah, yeah that's uh, a lot Ericsson, of lands. <laughs> Ericsson is just going to sacrifice, make sure that he taps down the uh, Eldrazi Displacer. Yep. Uh, wow, this is really tough to watch. Yeah, Rizaldo is just not drawing very well this game at all. Uh, and, you know, no pressure, I no early pressure. I don't think it's because of that. I think he should have Mulligan. I mean, if, yeah, you re- if you remember, he kept a hand with Eldrazi Displacer, Tyler's Tracker, uh, Ojutai's and Command, and Abyssin. Abyssin, yeah. And, and probably and a few lands. lands. Yeah. I, I don't think that is a, a good hand to keep against a blue-red control deck, yeah. you know? Well, any control deck. In yeah, any control in deck for the matter. Yeah. Uh, wondering if you is the draw. and Is that Rattle Chains? I have no <laughs> clue. <laughs> Man, I am so surprised. I am really very surprised in this deck. Uh, Ericsson here just, you know, finishing up. Uh, I mean, at this point, there's really no way that Ericsson can lose because look at the three Hedron archives. That's like six cards, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, Against he's Risaldo's another, one card. He's got another draw of hope in no. hand. Oh my gosh. You're just waiting him to clean things up. Yeah. Yeah. We have just... Uh, I know the clock says 8 seconds, but we actually have 2 minutes on the clock. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just going to take the clock away. Yep, take the clock away. Uh, we have 2 minutes left in the round. Um, uh, so yeah, the players have uh, 2 minutes left Well, yeah, to finish up the game. Uh, but I think this will go in Ericsson's favour. So I really don't understand why Ericsson does not like to crack his Hedron archives. Uh, like what? He has not cracked one Hedron yeah, archive the for the entire the hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, on, I don't understand. It's, it's cards, man. It's cards. You have the mana. You Is have he trying to cast... Um, I don't know. Em, em, he can even... Emrakul. Emrakul? I mean, if, uh, if, if Emrakul was legal, he one, could cast... 1, 2, it, you know? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, exactly he, can actually, 15. he can actually cast Emrakul if he wanted to, <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not legal. <laughs> so he has enough mana to cast Emrakul, but he refuses to draw more cards, okay? So... <laughs> because he's already winning, right? Sorry, yeah. He's got... No, he's got more than enough to... Ca- wow. Okay, so he's just going to swing in with... All? So o- that's yeah. awkward. His opponent's at one again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna get 
blinked out. Yeah, so one of the this place is going to get blinked. Uh, he has to do it in succession, though. Okay, so when you're being forced to uh, to blink, drawn out of hope, <laughs> it's yeah, usually a sign of things going downhill. Yeah, life is getting hard for you, man. Uh, second drowner. Because if he doesn't blink the second drowner of hope, uh, you know, he does, he does instantly die. Because the, pro- the reason why Risaldo is still hanging on to his life is because he d- might actually have a solution. Um, because there is a very interesting cyborg card in Bandex. Oh. Tragic arrogance, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so um, the reason why he's not conceding is probably because he might have it. Uh, yeah, but you can sacrifice all your. Oh, Jomoka's command gonna fight that. Oh, that's fine. He can still switch. Yeah. No, you see, if he if he draws tragic arrogance, he can he can um sacrifice um all his Eris- 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 can science, sac- yeah. sacrifice all the Eldrazi's and force him to leave behind Dawn of Hope mm-hmm. uh, and in any case he's dead too yeah <laughs> so um, maybe he hasn't considered this yet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, also the clock's gonna run down well okay so turns have been turns has been called and uh, yeah Ericsson's one game up so it doesn't really matter whether you know he just needs to not lose yeah he just needs to not lose <laughs> within the next five turns uh, which is a possibility, you know, you're at seven life, but uh, did he not switch? Oh, he doesn't switch. Why? Wait, what's happening? Yeah, I'm confused right now. Okay, so now he chooses to crack his. Oh no! Yeah, cast. Oh, Jace. Uh, gonna bounce back that. Uh, Displacer. Ah, he could have done it last turn. He could have done it during his main phase. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm curious how come the Displacer didn't die. I think um, Ericsson probably forgot that you can just like mm-hmm. switch life and yeah. it becomes like four, four power. I mean, it's an interaction doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> I use my displacer, put a plus one, plus one counter, and then fight yeah. your wandering fumarole. Mm. Uh, let's see. So displacer going to hit the battlefield again. And... Okay, and the tireless tracker. And yeah, that's all he has. Um... Unfortunately, no, Ericsson won't be able to kill this turn. No, either. he can tap, tap. One, two. He's dead. He can use Jace to oh un- yeah, summon yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the creatures and then use the Drowner of Hope's ability to sacrifice Eldrazi Scions. Ah, damn. Risaldo shouldn't have cast the... Um, it probably the doesn't matter because he has three Eldrazi Scions sitting right there. No, but his opponent is at five life. Okay, it doesn't so he's going to bounce. Yeah. One, he's gonna get two sign tokens. Gonna tap one down and just swing in. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it. Kay. The handshake comes out. That's it. So blue red Ulamok beats um Bunt humans two zero. Yeah. All right. Uh, gonna take a short break right now. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with the pairings for the next round, yeah. which is gonna come up in five to ten minutes. Uh, yeah. So don't go away. I, I believe that was the last table. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a short break. And uh, <laughs> okay, somebody's gonna take some medicine, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Yeah. <laughs> 